In this demo you will see how to export the template or the list of existing mobilities, an explanation of the format of the CSV file, how to use the CSV file to update existing mobilities or add new mobilities, and how to import the CSV file. This scenario is based on a KA103 project and the export and import for student mobilities. This may be different for other key actions and activities. Go to the Mobilities menu item and select Import Export. On this screen, you can perform the export and import of student mobilities and of staff mobilities. Due to the fact that these two types of mobilities contain different fields, there are two separate functionalities which allow the import and export of these types of mobilities. In order to download the Mobility Tool Plus Data Dictionary click on the button. The export import file uses dictionary codes which are unique abbreviations for the terms used in fields and drop down lists. Click on Export Excel CSV for student mobilities and associated organizations information. Select to save the file as type CSV. Never open the file directly after export. Go to Start. Search for Excel. Click to open Excel. In Excel, go to the Data tab. Do not go to File to open the exported CSV file. Select the option to get data from external source, using the option from text. Select to open the CSV file just exported. Select the option Delimited. Ensure that the file origin is 65001 Unicode, UTF-8. Click on Next. Select the delimiters as semicolon. The text qualifier is a double quotation mark. Click on Next. Click on Advanced, and ensure that the decimal separator is set as a point and the thousand separator is set as a comma. Click on OK. In the data preview, select all columns. Do this by selecting the first column, scrolling to the right, and while holding down the shift key, select the last column. Only select the text radio button once all columns are selected. Click on Finish. Select to import data to existing worksheet and click on OK. In this example, there is already one mobility added. The first row details the names of the fields. The second row indicates that the field is mandatory, by the presence of an asterisk. It also indicates if a dictionary value is required, or whether special formatting, such as the format for dates or decimal places, is required. Each mobility will be listed per row. The first column shown is the project ID. You can note that this is a mandatory field, by the presence of an asterisk in the second row. The second column, activity type, is also mandatory and must contain a valid dictionary value. In this case, it indicates HESMPP for student mobility for studies, between program countries. The long-term activity column uses the dictionary value yes-no. Only yes or no can be used in this cell, to indicate if the mobility is a long-term activity or not. The participant ID column is neither mandatory, and no dictionary value or special formatting is required. The next columns deal with the participant details, first name, last name and date of birth. The date of birth field indicates that the value must be entered in the format, day month, year. Let's move on to the mobility ID in column, N. This field is mandatory and must be unique for each mobility entered in the Excel file and for the project. Changing the mobility ID slightly, for example replacing the dash with a dot, will create a new mobility. Changing all other details of the mobility, participants name, address, etc. 
but keeping the mobility ID the same, will overwrite all previous details for that mobility. The field of education in column Q, is mandatory, and only accepts the dictionary value. These values can be found in the Mobility Tool Plus Data Dictionary. All organizations that have been created in MT Plus, will have an organization ID. If the organization ID is not changed or updated in the project in MT Plus, then the system will automatically generate the organization ID. It will be composed of the project ID, the letters ORG, and a sequential number. The organization ID must be unique for each organization in the project. The organization ID is linked with both the Erasmus code and the PIC. When the organization ID, and either the PIC or Erasmus code are entered, the organization's remaining details are not required to be completed in the import file. This is true for both the sending and receiving organization's details. Let's skip to column CK. The start date of the mobility must have the format day, month, year, using a dash as separator. Finally let's look, at how the mobility grant amounts are entered. The monthly grant in column CP is entered. The full stop must be used as the decimal separator. In order to explain how to add new mobilities, we will look at a simple scenario where five new mobilities are added. Each mobility will have a different participant, coming from the same organization, and going to the same location. The mobility budget is also the same for each mobility. Copy the existing mobility from line 3 of the Excel file. Paste into the five next rows. Now the six rows contain the same information for one mobility. The project ID must be the same for all rows in the CSV file. Before completing the details for each participant, update the participant ID with a unique ID, or leave blank. The following cells in each row, must be updated with five different participant details and a unique mobility ID. Change the names and other personal information of the participants. Don't forget to provide a unique mobility ID for each row. This must be unique for the project. You cannot have two the same in the Excel file, or it will error on upload. If the mobility ID is the same as an existing mobility ID, it will overwrite the existing mobility. Any new mobility ID added to the Excel file, will result in a new mobility added to the project. Save the file. Make sure to save the file as type CSV. Ensure that the web option, Unicode, UTF-8, encoding, is set. Please note, that even though UTF-8 is selected, MS Excel will not save the characters correctly, for most of the 27 alphabets used, by national agencies and participant of the Erasmus Plus program. In this case use an alternative tool such as LibreOffice Calc, Apache OpenOffice Calc or iWorks Numbers. More details are explained in the video tutorial, How to Work with CSV. Click on Save. Click Yes. Return to the Import Export Mobilities screen of your project. Now you are ready to import the list of student mobilities and the associated organization information. Remember there is a separate template for staff mobilities. It is not possible to import the two types of mobilities together. Click on Import and select the file. Scroll down to the Import History section. Click on Refresh, to update the import history information. A successful message is displayed.
Go to the Mobilities drop down list and select List Mobilities. You will see that the mobilities have been added to the project. This concludes this demo.